Hello everybody and welcome to another Open Tutorial video tutorial brought to you by OpenTutorial.com. In this tutorial we'll be creating a fire text effect using Photoshop. Now there are many ways to create fire in Photoshop. Uh, this, this is just one of hundreds of methods that are possible. Um, I do like this, this effect though, on this method because it does create a fairly realistic looking uh, fire. So here we go. Go to File, New to create a new photo. Uh, we're going to set the uh, width to 640 height 360 and the resolution to 150. Select OK. I want to fill this background with black and we do this quite simply by pressing the shift key and then the backspace key and this brings up the uh, fill dialog box and we're going to say use black. Hit OK. And we're going to place our text. Select the uh, horizontal type tool and I'm using a monotype Corsiva at 96 points uh, with a background of white. And an OT for open tutorial. Place the text slightly below the middle and in the center to so give uh, room for the flame to come up. I want to duplicate the layer that we just created. So right click the layer and select duplicate layer. And then select OK to copy it or to make a duplicate of it. I want to turn off the visibility of that layer we just created and then add a layer style to the OT layer. So double click it to bring up the layer style dialog box. And under the blending options in the, under advanced blending we want to set the fill opacity to zero. We want to give it an outer glow and we want to set the color of the outer glow. Set its hexadecimal value here to FFB017 and then select OK. Now we're going to want to set its size to 4 pixels. And then we want to give an inner glow. I'm going to set that inner glow's opacity to 100% and give it a color of hexadecimal FF9C00. And select OK. And we're going to set its size to 11 pixels. And then select OK. Now we go ahead and turn on our copy layer, double click it to bring up its layer style dialog box, and we're going to apply a very similar effect. We're going to turn down its um, fill opacity to zero, add an outer glow to it, set its opacity to 100%, no I'm sorry, leave that at 75, uh, change its color to FF4E00. Select OK and set its size to 28 pixels. And then we do inner glow. And on the inner glow, we set the opacity to 100%. Change its color to FFC600 and then select OK. And then we want to set its size to 18 pixels and press OK. Now we want to rasterize this type. This gives us a pretty interesting looking uh, uh, you know, glowing text effect. We want to rasterize this copy layer. So right click it and select rasterize type. And then using the smudge tool with uh, brush settings at six, or 20 for the size, 25 for the hardness, and 75 for the strength, we want to smear some flames out of this. Now this is where some artistic ability really comes in handy. Um, I'm not much of an artist myself, so I have a difficult time making these things look, you know, great, but um, it can be done to, to look quite nice. Uh, just play around with it, have some fun, you know, just make swirling effects and whatnot. You may want to adjust the size of your smudge tool tip, and how you do that is, uh, as with pretty much any tool in, in Photoshop, if you use the bracket keys, the left bracket key will make the uh, tip smaller and the right bracket key will uh, enlarge the tip so give you a little more fine control quickly. It's a nice tip to, to know with Photoshop. I'm just going to make some wild crazy stuff here so that we just kind of get an idea of the gist of the effect. Alright, so once you're kind of sort of happy with what you got there, we want to turn that into a selection by pressing the control key down 
and then clicking the layer icon right here and that turns it into a selection there we want to select the inverse of that so we go under select inverse and then press the delete key okay and then yet again create another selection of it by holding the control key down and clicking it one more time to create a new selection we want to create a new layer and in that layer, we want to uh, fill the selection with white. We do that by pressing the Shift and then Backspace key. And this time, we select white from the Use um, section and click OK. Then we want to set the uh, blend mode of this layer right here to Overlay. And then press Control D to deselect all. And that gives you your fire effect with Photoshop. They, you get some pretty realistic looking flames with it. Like I said, you know, it kind of depends on your artistic ability and just playing around with it and have some fun. I just do this real, real fast. But there you have it, Photoshop uh, Fiery Text. And you can also apply this to uh, other other uh, things as well. You don't necessarily have to do it with text. Um, I What I have done is, uh, if you notice in the beginning of this video, I did a whole bunch of these. Um, I set up a, uh, a Photoshop action to do this. I'll show you that how I did that. I'll close this. And then um, here's the, the our text that I, I did earlier with just the OT layer. I set up an action where I recorded, uh, I put it in this little thing called fire text, a fire text setup, which applies all the uh, steps that we did previously up until the point where we do the smudging. So when I hit play to play that, and it automatically creates the copies of the layers and sets up the, uh, the thing. So then you go in with your smudge tool and smudge it around. To create your flames and then I made a finish uh, fire text finish action to hit hit play and it just automatically does all those steps that we did previously it saves a ton of time um, Photoshop actions are fantastic but anyways for more uh, more tutorials uh, please check out the opentutorial.com we've got more tutorials going up every day open tutorial is a wiki just like Wikipedia so you can go ahead and uh, um, add to the tutorials that are up there, uh, make any uh, ad additionals, additions to existing tutorials, you know, make them better. Um, and just, you can even request tutorials if you, you want to learn something and you're not really sure how to do it, but you can, you know, post a how-to, um, or you can post a, a request for a tutorial out there. So please, by all means, check it out and feel free to leave some comments here and uh, good or bad, they're all appreciated. Now, I try to make these video tutorials rather brief, so if you want more uh, detailed explanation on how to do this, by all means, visit www.opentutorial.com and uh, check out the URL that's listed here so that you can see more detailed written instructions on how to uh, complete this tutorial. Thank you very much, and have a great day.